Hey guys, welcome back to Peter's Garage. This is going to be a quick video because I want to talk to you about some issues with a central locking system that I installed on this Mercedes 190E and I'm sure a lot of you probably have the same problem on your car. Don't worry, I'll help you guys out. But the crazy part is that the schematic that I showed you in the previous video, uh, I was able to use it on this car for a long time and then kind of like maybe... You know, after three months of using the central locking system, I started having issues, you know, I couldn't like, I, it would lock and then it would not unlock and then it was, it was just a pain. So uh, I'm going to show you today how to fix that because I was actually wiring that stuff the wrong way. Also guys, stay tuned because there's going to be another video of me wiring in the turn signals, you know, so when you lock it and unlock it, you can actually use the turn signals as well. So yeah, anyways, let's get back to the schematic. All right, so everything was correct with the old schematic, except that, and I don't know why I didn't read this, you know, it's, it's really good to read instructions, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> because on the back side right here, it shows you. It actually shows you the schematic for the car with pneumatic pump. So this number four schematic, you know, if you want to actually take a picture of it or whatever. Okay. Ooh, doesn't want to do it too well. But anyways, notice right here, it shows right here where you have to cut the wire. And then the way I had it set up is I was using this green wire, right? Uh, don't pay attention i'm gonna all patch this up because i was doing some other testing diagnosing because i was really curious what's going on why this central locking is having issues so yeah now anyways this is how you're supposed to actually wire it <laughs> so the green wire i cut the green wire right and then i connected this white wire to the green wire and white wire comes from that central locking system or sorry the the remote control and then on this other end what i did is i connected this orange with black stripe to that green wire yeah and uh, the way i had it before is the green line was still connected and everything it wasn't cut and i had both of those wires just kind of you know connected uh together to that line so that was the wrong way of doing it i guess but it still worked for a while which is crazy but uh there are issues with this so that's why you want to do it this way uh, about to demonstrate to you how this locking system works all right so now the car is open all right and here's the key and also i wired this stuff here look at that it locks right and now we're gonna unlock it watch those turn signals too isn't that cool yep and now i've been like testing and testing and don't have any more problems with it which is so amazing guys also excuse the mess because i'm i'm in the middle of doing a lot of stuff to this car so yeah and some of these parts are gonna go like on this car fuel filter whatever all this other stuff but yeah main thing is i was i was actually wiring the turn signal wiring into this car today and trying to diagnose the issue with the central locking so yep all right guys one more time showing it to you guys this is how it's supposed to be all right so the white wire has to go to this green wire also right but the green uh it has to go to the side that it goes to the pump all right so the white one has to go to the side that goes to the pump and then this uh orange with black stripe also connected to the green wire that one is going to go to the actual wherever else is going all right so <clears throat> yeah and that's how it's going to be and now you can basically be assured that your uh, locks or remote control is going to be working perfect and uh, yeah i'm about to wrap everything up right here wrap everything nicely in tape i'm going to put electric liquid electrical tape on this guy right here make sure there's nothing exposed okay and uh it's going to be all nicely preserved no issues guys all right so i'm wrapping everything up right here liquid electrical tape is all dry 
So I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything back together here nicely and organize it. All right, everything is wrapped up inside of here nicely. And we can start installing everything back, the seat and all that. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. And, you know, um, I hope that you can also resolve the same issues that you had with your central lock and can finally start using that. And also stay tuned for a uh, future video. I'm going to show you guys how to wire in those turn signal lamps. So, yeah, it's going to look really cool.